folks. Billboard magazine has called my next guest one of the best rappers of all time. He's going to perform a little bit later, but first, please welcome Nas. <laughs> Good to see you again. Thanks. Good seeing you. People may not know, but you and I go way back. Way back. Way back. Uh, what was it? I had first talked to you for the Untitled album. Yes. When was that? 2010? 2010. 2010. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Long time ago. So. And then I had you on, what was the album after that? Um, Life is Good. Life is that Good. That was um, two years after that. Two I years after that? It's been a long time since you put out an album. Yeah, it's been like six years. Wow. So Why now? <laughs> um... It's just time, man. You know, I just start to feel it. You start to miss it. I'm home and start missing it. Yeah. Well, um, you've been going strong since Illmatic in 1994. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why do you think? Yeah. Why do you think you've kept going strong and are still a vital part of the music scene? You know, now in 2018. Why you? Why not like uh, the Spin Doctors or somebody like that? <laughs> why? Why? Why not any of those other guys? I love. I love hip hop. I loved it since I was a kid. So it's it's still like. Um, a dream, and it's still like uh, it's still fresh to me. It's mm -hmm. still I, I still feel the love for it. I love the art of it more than anything. I love it as an art form. So, you know? how does it feel to be somebody who's doing hip hop for so long, and now it's it's the dominant musical form in the United States? It's probably the That's most crazy. current, most socially relevant, certainly musical form in the United States. That's crazy because I remember when it was like not considered even music. You know, the early '80s. Um, so to see it be what it is today, I knew it would be that. I know, I mean, Who did you look up to it. musically when you were younger? Who were the people that you wanted to be like? Oh, man. You know, I loved, I loved the Jackson 5. I loved um, sure. Rick James. I loved <laughs> <laughs> uh, James Brown and, uh, you know, lots of different cool cats. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Lou Rawls. <laughs> I, I, you, Lou Rawls was like, he had a song I used to joke my brother about, you'll never find. I think As you, long as you live. My brother would want to fight if I sang that to him. I, I don't know why. I, you know. It, so it was my joke, but, you know. So after, like, 24 years into your career, at least your public career, do you ever afraid that you're getting too comfortable and that your, your, your rhymes won't be as tight and that your, your, your bars uh, won't be as crisp? That you'll get a little soft. <laughs> you'll be you'll be rapping about like suburban life or <laughs> your retirement plan or something like that. You know, if, even if I did like uh, the suburban life album, somebody would like it because there's a there's a world there that's not being catered to. That's true. <laughs> I, I, I think that will work. That might work, but I'm I'm, I'm always mm -hmm. I got the fire underneath me. So yeah. 401k rhymes with a lot of things. <laughs> uh, now, uh, the new album is uh, it's, uh, Nasir, and uh, it's produced by Kanye. And this was, you guys did this out in Wyoming, right? Yeah. What was that like for you? Did, how did Wyoming feel to you? It's a little, a little different than maybe what you're, yeah. where you grew up, maybe, I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah, yeah. I think you two, you might have been two of the only African Americans in Wyoming <laughs> while you were there? Yeah, probably so, but yep. the people are great and uh, beautiful, it's one of the beautiful most beautiful people. places yeah. I've ever been to and um, it was the last place I thought I would record an album, but we were there and nobody bothered us and mm -hmm. it was a good time. You know, Kanye is the kind of guy who needed to be away from everything, you know, when he's recording, I guess. So he said it to me, I was like, you know, I don't know, I've never been there, but you know, I went there, it was a great experience. Though. Where in Wyoming were you? Oh, man. Where it was Jackson? It was Jackson. Okay. Yeah, Jackson. See the Grand Jackson. Tetons? No. Did you see those just, big mountains in Jackson? I saw the mountains. Those are the Grand Tetons. You saw the Grand Tetons. <laughs> right there. I Do you know what that know. means in French? No. <laughs> That's what it means in French. It does. It, He's saying it doesn't mean it. It does. It means... It me oh, I can do this. It means cantaloupes in French. <laughs> All it means is... Uh, yeah, put these a lot over of there, cantaloupes. Right there. A lot of French cantaloupes. A lot of French And now, did the animals leave you alone? Because that's grizzly country. I saw a moose. 
How close? I think he was a sick moose because he was like eating off a branch and he was like, he didn't look that strong. <laughs> you, uh, you, they're huge though. They're huge, but you could tell a sick moose when you see one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. But I didn't know it either. Now, did, that, I did that get into the album? If there's a rhyme <laughs> about a sick moose, nah, man. Nah, nah. Next album. No. Next album. Nah, nah, okay. Nah, nah. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever written? Speaking of lyrics, have you ever written a lyric like I, I, I kid about the moose? But have you ever written a lyric for one of your songs that you really liked? Be like, I can't put that in that song. That's not me. That's not. That's too silly, or that's too stupid, or that's that. I like it, but people won't accept that lyric. Sure. I did a song called Dr. Knock Boot. And knocking boots was a a late 80s term for like making love or whatever. I don't so I know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it was it was one of those songs I regretted doing. What well, you regret yeah, doing yeah. the song Dr. Knock Boots. I regret letting people talk me into putting it on an album. Because you think it's inappropriate to talk about making love on a no. hip hop album? The the name Dr. Knock Boots is is <laughs> No. <laughs> too cheap? Too cheap? It's corny. Corny? Yeah. Well, well um, we'd love to hear a track off of this. Would you stick around and do... Yeah, uh... yeah I got you. You got us? All right. Okay. Good to see you. When we come back, a performance from his latest album, Nasir. Nas, everybody. We'll be right back.